Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with Developer University, and I welcome you to this course covering the fundamentals of the C-sharp programming language and programming topics in general, designed specifically for absolute beginners to programming. Now, if you're already an experienced software developer coming from another software development platform or programming language, then frankly, this series of lessons will move much too slowly for you. You might be better served to find a, another resource to use as a starting point one with you, the experienced beginner to C-sharp, in mind. And Microsoft Virtual Academy has many great courses designed for people at all skill levels, so I recommend that you start your search there. However, if you are completely new to programming, and you're new to the C-sharp programming language, and you're new to building applications on the Windows platform, then this, perhaps, is the best place for you to start. Not only will you and I work together to learn the syntax of C-sharp, but I'm going to take the time to walk through everything that we do together. I'll explain what we're doing, but more importantly, I want to explain why we're doing it, the thought process behind it. I'm going to try to anticipate the questions you might have, anticipate the problems that you might run into as you're typing your very first lines of code into the code window or as you're working through some of the exercises that we'll work through together. Uh, I've literally taught hundreds of thousands of people, maybe even millions of people, C-sharp over the past 14 years. That's no exaggeration. This includes children as old as 8 years old and as young as 80 years old from virtually every corner of the world. They've all learned from a version of this course, and I know you can learn too. In fact, this is the sixth iteration of this very course, dating all the way back to 2005. And over the years, I've incorporated the feedback from thousands of students, feedback and suggestions on how to improve the course. I've incorporated those in, in an effort to make sure that this is the very best effort that I can put forward to help you get your feet wet with C-sharp. Now, I only make one real assumption as we begin this course, and that's that you already have some version and edition of Visual Studio already installed on your local computer, and you're ready to write your very first lines of code. Now, if you don't already have Visual Studio installed, then please, by all means, visit visualstudio.com, where you'll learn about the many free and commercial editions of Visual Studio that are available, what the differences are. Now, personally, I used Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition, one of the free versions of Visual Studio uh, that are available on visualstudio.com. And I want to emphasize that you can use any edition and version of Visual Studio with these lessons. Uh, now, there, there might be tiny user interface differences between, between what you see on my screen and what you see on your screen as you work through the videos. However, I'm not going to be focusing on any specific features of Visual Studio, so hopefully that won't prevent you from following along no matter what. There will be other courses on Microsoft Virtual Academy that will demonstrate the power of Visual Studio, all the features that Visual Studio has to offer. Uh, explaining the differences between editions and versions of Visual Studio. But I won't be focusing on that in this course. I'm going to focus specifically on the basics of the C-sharp programming language itself, and what I will demonstrate will be true no matter which version or edition of Visual Studio that you choose to use. And that's great, great news, because as long as C-sharp exists, these lessons should still be valid and useful to you no matter what. So to get the most out of this course or any course that you find online, you really should become an active learner, and that takes several different forms. Uh, first of all, you should attempt to follow along closely and do what I call getting your hands dirty in the code, actually writing the code that I'm writing on screen, you're writing it along with me. All right? There's no better way to learn how to code than actually write code yourself. It's like suggesting that somebody learn how to play the guitar without ever touching a guitar. You'd think, well, that's virtually impossible. Typing in the code yourself will give you insights that merely watching videos won't. So pause the video, rewind the video, rewatch portions of the videos as you need to. I'm going to make the code available for download, and you're welcome to it. And you can use that to compare the code that you write versus the code that I've written in the videos. Uh, but you really should be typing in everything on your own in your own local copy of Visual Studio running on your desktop. 
So also, don't rush through this course. If something doesn't make sense, again, pause the video, rewind the video, rewatch those portions that don't make complete sense at first. Sometimes a second or a third viewing, focusing more specifically on what's going on around the screen and on the words that I'm saying can help. Being an active learner also means that you're taking control of the process of learning. So if I say something or do something that doesn't completely make sense, uh, by all means, find a second or a third resource that can help you. Maybe it's an article out on msdn.microsoft.com or other videos on Channel 9 or Microsoft Virtual Academy. But make sure you search out those resources that resonate well for you. If you're interested in an even more comprehensive version of this course, of a C-Sharp training course that covers a lot more ground and more depth, uh, complete with dozens of coding challenges and over 30 hours of video instruction, then please visit my own website, devview.com, Developer University. You'll also find many other training courses that I've created designed specifically to help you become a professional C-Sharp developer someday. Furthermore, over time, as we go through this course and as I uh, begin to field questions about it, I might add some study resources and additional free content related to the topics in the course that you're currently watching right now. So that's another reason to be sure to visit me at devu.com. Now, like I said earlier, if you're new to programming, I'm really excited for you. Learning to write applications is really one of my life's passions. It's extremely gratifying to breathe life into your imagination and watch your creations come to life and watch other people actually then use your applications. Uh, you're embarking on a really exciting journey that's immersive, it's personally and professionally rewarding, and best of all, I know you can do this. Again, I've seen so many people start off where you're at right now, and they might even be working professionally writing code for a living or building real applications that are being sold in app stores like the Windows Store. So if you've ever gotten stuck in the past and trying to learn how to program, I promise you that if you put in the time and you put in the effort and you work along with me, as we work together, we're going to build the knowledge of C Sharp that you need uh, to be well equipped to move on to more advanced tutorials where you can learn how to build your own web applications and Windows applications. Uh, Windows Store applications, cloud services, video games, and even applications that will run on iOS and Android using C Sharp. Now assuming, again, that you have some version and edition of Visual Studio already installed and you're ready to go, then we're going to begin writing C Sharp in the very next lesson. I hope you're excited because I really am. This is so much fun. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll see you there. Thank you.